site links is going to be the first extension of your ad that you're going to want to create. Now, let me tell you what an extension is. So these right here are your headlines, descriptions, and then these links right here that are underneath the ad, these are um, site links because you can click on them and go to that page. <clears throat> so I'm going to go back. Let's say we are, I'm going to do a tree surface again. And I want to let people know, like, if you're searching for tree service, these are the types of services that we do. We do tree removals. And then you can do a description. Um, and then you can put the URL. Let's say you have, you have a page there for tree removals. Okay, like, hey, we also do tree trimming. And the URL would be this, and they would go to your tree trimming page. Okay, we want these links to go to the right pages. Don't just send everybody to the home page where they have to start clicking around and find what they're looking for. Okay, if somebody's looking for tree service, but really they want tree removals, and you have a site link for tree removals. Take them to the tree removals page. Don't make make it easy on them. We want them to take as the least amount of clicks to get what they want. Okay, so let's say we do uh, some stump removal. If anyone's watching this and they're in the tree service industry, they're like, why are you doing stump removal, and not stump grinding? I have another. I'll do another video on that. But stump removal gets way more impressions and searches than uh, stump grinding. So again, we'll do that to the actual page. Um, so again, in the description, you're gonna add a, a brief description of, of each one of these services, kind of like what we did for the headlines, okay? They're not always gonna show, example here, they're not showing there, they're not showing here, but sometimes you'll see that they actually show the, the, um, the site link with a, a brief description under it, okay? And then once we're done with that, uh, description, let's just do test. I'm just filling it out just so they won't deny it. They're not going to, but they're going to say, we recommend you do this. And, um, I don't want to go through that. So just, you can do site links without descriptions, but just add some descriptions. It, it's, it's better that way. <clears throat> and then we hit save. So there you go. Then we can apply it to that campaign. Now assets, they just changed this. It used to be extensions, but now it's called assets. So you're gonna click assets. Now we're in tree service ad group and we're in the assets, okay? We want to start adding the one, adding some assets here, some extensions. So we did create some site links. And if I put it, if I click under ad group, you can make new site links or you can go to use existing that we've already created. So for this ad group, I wanna put tree removals, tree trimming, stump removal, save. So boom, here they are, okay? That's for site links. Remember this is, these are the site links. Okay, so here you can add a call out. The call out is, where you can put in unique offerings or benefits that your company has to offer. Um, this is where you would put, if you had like, if you're open 24 hours, 24 seven service, you could put, um, let's say you're, let's say you're fully insured, you uh, have certain certifications, that is where this will go. Okay, let me see if I can find an example. Um, Okay, so here's one I did for a tree service in Chicago. So you'll see um, commercial residential, tree trimming, tree removal. They give you some off, some, some their services. 24-7 um, emergency service, 24-hour emergency service, low price guaranteed, experience, those types of things. It's just anything that you can do to make your ad bigger and more prominent, real estate on the Google search engine results page is at a premium. So if they show your ad, you wanna make sure that you have all of those extensions 
firing that you can. Because the bigger, the better. Okay, so that's an example of, of uh, a call ops. Let's do 24-7 service, low price, guaranteed. Um, let's say you did a safety training certified uh, and you can do um, fully insured okay so you got four of those in there now so now under our assets is showing site link we have a call out what else can we add? A structured snippet. That's another, see right here, here's an example. It's another part of the ad that you can add, that you can include to make your ad stand out more, okay? You can do it at the ad group level or at the campaign. This is for tree service. We haven't created an existing one, so. So now they give you options, okay? You could do a service catalog. You could do types. Um, shows is not, that's more for movie theaters, courses. You're not doing that brands that you work with. You don't have that amenities. It's a home service. So you're going to the home hotels, boom, boom, boom. So what you, I usually do would be a service catalog. And again, this is where you do tree trimming, stump removal, tree removal. Let's say you're an accountant or let's say you're a lawyer and you do, um, Car wrecks, uh, truck wrecks, personal injury, corporate. Let's say you finance, corporate finance, whatever it is. Put a list of all your services on there. And you can add several, okay? I'm just doing four. So we have that in here. It's saved under the ad group. Done. Now we have... Structured snippet, site link, call out. Super important here, call. You need to have the call form, okay? So we're going to, this is a new call extension. It's in the United States. This is where you put your phone number. Uh, I'll do mine, 620-569-1301. Let's make it look like they have it, just so it doesn't get any pushback, because Google is funny. Now, conversion action. I created these. So you can do at the account level, which is fine. If you have a different type that you do at the ad group level, you can do that as well. Um, those are those are both fine. If you do it at the account level, you just have to do it for our, make sure. Um, well, you only have one for call extension, so it's fine. So just do the account settings. Uh, if you want to get into it, you could say, hey, only call me during certain um, days and hours. Um, that's completely up to you. It's all based on how your business is run and operated. Okay, so we're going to save that. Let's refresh. I want to make sure that my call extension is working. But let's see. Okay. Structured snippet, site link, call out, call. So we have all those extensions now. If you have a promotion, you can do a promotion. There are some local services that have them, but we've done a bunch of them. Let's say you want to do it for, let's say it's a fall sale since we're in fall. Currency, what type of discount? Let's say it's $50 off the item. We'll do tree service. Uh, put the URL in there. Promotion details on orders over $500. You get $50 off. And then you can run a test. If you want this only to run throughout the fall, you know, you can say start date is, let's see, today's the 13th today. And then we'll say, hey, end this when this when uh, Christmas or when uh, winter comes, which is one of these days. Let's say this is the 21st. Okay. Then I, let's do, uh, let's just put mine on here again. Final, final URL. Let's go into super, super important is location. Okay, so this is where you can tie 
your Google ads campaign to your Google business profile, which used to be Google My Business. If you're a local service company, please, please make sure that you have a Google business profile. It's 100% complete. It's accurate. Um, make sure it's optimized. Make sure you're posting. Make sure you're adding pictures. And make sure you're getting a bunch of reviews and you're replying to those reviews. Okay? If you don't have that process set up yet, give us a call. We help people with that all the time. So you have options here. So, right, you're going to want to, since hopefully you are managing that, you're going to click on a business, a uh, profile that you know. Okay, it's not going to show my location on here, but if you did have one, it's going to, because this email address isn't tied to my Google My Business account, uh, it'll show right here. You'll click it, and then you'll hit continue, and then it'll be all set up. Okay? So that, you'll have location, you'll have all of these other ones set up. Um, the other thing that you're going to want to do is keep an eye on this because right now you don't have an option for an image. But at, if it's a if this campaign was running for a while, sometimes Google doesn't let you have that that uh, image extension right off the bat. But as you've been going and and uh, having your campaign run for a little bit, then you'll have an option to do a an image extension, and then that's where you'll see an image pop up right here. Okay but they're not giving it to me yet. Some industries, some campaigns we run and they give it to me right away. But uh, for so, sometimes these local service campaigns, they don't. Um, I hope that you found this helpful. If, if you like this content, subscribe to this channel because I'm gonna be producing tons of other um, local service company marketing strategies that have just really, really worked and have benefited a lot of companies over the last 14 years that we've been doing this. Um, so stay tuned and uh, hope to talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.